I'm Kim. Good morning, I'm Ian, and I hope you're enjoying this wonderful sunshine. Uh, you might remember us from Stanway Evangelical Church, um, and the team from there have been putting on some video blogs um, about the different fruit of the Spirit. Um, so today we've been asked to talk about forgiveness. Yeah. Okay, and doing things wrong is in our human nature. Um, we're all flawed human beings. Um, in life, in our relationships, we all make mistakes, don't we? Yeah, we do. Um, some little and some big. Um, and I often lead to disagreements, rows, problems, you know, and a sense of betrayal in some ways. Um, but the good news is that forgiveness is actually in our human nature too. Um, and if we forgive, it can help us um, avoid bitterness and resentment and often salvages a relationship. Um, we shouldn't hold on to bitterness and anger um, because it does, it sort of, it hurts you inside and you need to get rid of it. Um, and forgiveness is a way of doing that. You know, when the pain of holding on to um, the past and wrongdoing um, continues to follow you into the future, um, you have a choice. You either be bitter and it only hurts you, doesn't hurt the other person, um, or you choose to let it go, um, and that's forgiveness. Um, in the Bible, um, God's forgiveness stands out um, as a theme throughout the Old Testament. Um, there are loads of stories of individuals um, showing forgiveness, such as Jacob, you know, when he forgave his brothers, they sold him into slavery. But he still forgave them when they came back to him and they were hungry. Um, he forgave them. Um, but there's also petitionary prayers uh, where people have um, prayed to God um, for others for their nation, for individuals, um, and ask him to forgive them for their actions. Um, so in the Old Testament, people had to, um, had to offer animal sacrifices um, in order to gain God's forgiveness. But the amazing news is that in the New Testament, um, Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice. Um, he came and offered himself as a perfect yeah. sacrifice. God knew that we all sin um, and we needed to be forgiven. Mm -hmm. um, so Jesus died on that cross for us, for me, for you, for you, mm -hmm. everybody. Um, and it was a perfect sacrifice. At the Last Supper, Jesus with his disciples um, poured out his, the wine and he said, this is the blood of the covenant um, poured out for many for the forgiveness of their sins. Even when Jesus was dying on the cross, you know, he prayed to God, his father, and he asked him to forgive his attackers. In Luke 23, verse 34, it says, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Jesus even taught us really simply how to pray and ask for forgiveness. We all know the Lord's Prayer, the part in the Lord's Prayer that says, Forgive us our sins as we forgive others. You know, different translations say trespasses or debts in place of sins. But in all four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, Jesus notes the importance of forgiving others to ensure God's forgiveness. The Gospel of Matthew includes the parable of the unmerciful servant in which a freed slave who doesn't forgive the debts of another is thrown into jail to be tortured. The servant's own master had taken pity on him and he cancelled a huge debt that that servant owed to him. But when that same servant came across a fellow servant who owed him money, he refused to let him off. So that master called him in and reprimanded him and he threw him in jail. He cancelled, you know, he said, you need to go into jail and pay back all that you owe because he refused. Although he was forgiven, he refused to yeah. forgive others. And then Jesus said in Matthew 18, verse 35, So my heavenly Father will also do to every one of you, if you do not forgive your brother or sister from your heart. Mm. Yeah. Amen. We'd just like to share some of our mm. testimonies with you. Um, both of us have had times in our life when, before we came to know God, mm. where we should have forgiven and we never did. Um, and then when we became Christians, God spoke to us 
do our hearts convicted us um, and showed us where you know we were holding on to stuff mm -hmm. and it was doing us harm mm -hmm. and showed us where we needed to forgive so we just want to share a little bit that we do that's mm -hmm. okay well for me uh the first time i felt um, divine power forgiveness forgiveness was two years ago uh, when i first found jesus um, in 2008 i went through a very bitter um, divorce um, it was very painful and it was a very dark time in my life and i've carried i've carried feelings of guilt and hatred towards my first wife and wife and we never got on um, every issue would always end up in a bitter argument and most of those would be centered over the children um, which which was wrong but you know, we, we did that um, this carried on for many years and it would die down one minute it'd be oh, fine and then it would flare up with an argument over something and it'd usually be over the kids and it would just be back to how it was and disagreements and arguments and and this went on for, well, for a long time and it wasn't until 2018 when I spiritually encountered Jesus um, and had the revelation of his forgiveness I prayed the repentance prayer for the first time with all my heart um, and to him I, uh, I instantly felt his grace and mercy wash all over me it was it was such an amazing experience um, looking back it was it changed my life uh, um, and my thoughts turned to my ex-wife and and I found forgiveness, like from deep in my heart, and and I really wanted to pray for her and to pray for her to forgive me as well. So mm -hmm. uh, I knew all the sins in my previous life had, been, had life had been removed, and it literally felt like an enormous weight had been lifted off mm -hmm. my shoulders, um, and it was just mm -hmm. amazing. And the first time in a decade, decade, I felt free from from all that, those those sins and everything and it was a real weight off my shoulders it was just amazing and it's all thanks to our um, wonderful Lord Saviour Jesus Christ Amen okay my testimony um, goes right back to my childhood um, I suffered um, a lot of abuse at the hands of my dad um, and I think as I grow up um, I never forgave him I kind of just accepted it and just chose to just put it to the back of my mind um, and just forget about it. Mm. But that doesn't heal you. Um, it was still there. Mm. Um, I was also abused by my brother. Um, but I kind of like put that in a separate place. Mm. Um, and my dad died um, in 2013. And I don't think I ever really forgave him before he died. Mm. And for me, it's, it's kind of easier to forgive him after because I never had to face him um, so I could forgive um, but not long after I came to know Jesus um, I had an experience of being filled with the Holy Spirit which at the time was really really powerful and really upsetting because I really felt God say to me that you need to forgive there's so much in your past and I and I was angry that God was making me relive it all again. And like, why did I need to forgive? I've forgiven him. You know, my brother and I, it's the first time and the only time I've ever felt God say to me my brother's names. Mm. And it was a huge realisation that actually I, I still had so much that I hadn't forgiven. I hadn't forgiven my brother for his abuse. I hadn't forgiven my other brother for... Um, ignoring mm. me coming forward with it and walking out on us and the abandonment um, and, and I just just broke down because I just thought why are you making me go through this again God but after sitting down and talking with people and um, realizing that I had to go go back and pray about it I realized that actually God was saying I want to heal you mm. um, I need you to let go of this because it's stopping you moving on. And that's what we're trying to say, that actually, if you don't forgive, you hold on to that stuff. It wasn't hurting my brothers. It, you know, it was hurting me. So I might have forgotten about it. I might have put it to the back of my mind. But there were some times that were coming up when actually um, it was coming to the surface again. So 
I, I no, I didn't face them. I I prayed and I mentally wrote to them and asked for their forgiveness, and said that I forgave them. And it was like Ian said, it was like a huge weight lifted off me. And I thought, I got the feeling that God was saying, okay, that's enough for the time being. You've let go of it from your heart. Um, and I've never looked back. I can truly say that actually if I had to physically face them again, yeah. I'd forgiven them. Um, and it was a huge, huge healing. Yeah. So, forgiving others and being forgiven is equally important. Mm -hmm. um, through the grace of and love of our Jesus Christ um, has allowed me to move on mm -hmm. and um, I can respond um, mm -hmm. with a forgiving heart um, to other people, um, mm -hmm. especially my ex-wife. Um, and now we have quite a, a good relationship now. We get on mm -hmm. um, and it's a lot better. And uh, and that's just through praying for that for that forgiveness and being forgiven. Mm, yeah. You know, in, in my circumstances, um, forgiveness has allowed me to move on. It doesn't mean that um, what happened, I'm condoning it. it. Doesn't mean that what they did was okay. It doesn't mean that I forget what happened, but it means that I can live in the future and not in the past, which is really, really important. Um, for your own physical health as well. Um, I don't think people realise how much anger and bitterness and resentment can take a toll on your body. Um, and it's not good to live with bitterness towards others. As we said before, it just hurts yourself. You know, it doesn't hurt the other person. Um, so I know that I have that power now, mm -hmm. that if I met my brothers, um, mm. that they don't have that hold over me. Yeah. Um, I've got a forgiving heart, like Ian said, um, and I can move forward um, and truly say that I forgive what happened. Um, you know, it restores our mental health, um, restores our physical health, um, and it lets you see the good again. Mm. You know, I had a cloud over my life that actually all I saw with my brothers was what happened, what they did to me. Mm. Um, and actually now I see the good. Um, I see that they're my brothers mm. and I love them. Mm. Um, so Jesus wants us to see the good in people. Mm. Ian can see the good in his ex now, mm. you know, as his children's mum. Yeah. Um, not just as that partner. Yeah. That they had arguments with um so we need to forgive yeah um jesus yeah. wants us to ask for forgiveness for things that we do wrong um and he forgives us every day mm. um every day with by grace mm. um <clears throat> we are forgiven for our sins mm. and each day anew we wake afresh forgiven of our sins but yeah. we need to forgive yeah. others as well yeah for the little things and the bad and the big things. Yeah, so important. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. listening, yeah. guys. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the sunshine. Bye. Bye.